we're back out here again today. Um, when I looked at my indoor outdoor thermometer up against the back of the house here, which is actually in the shade right now, it's at 112 <clears throat> in the sun. So we're starting to cook up for summer. Um, let's see, uh, today I came on out here this morning and I used this um, concrete mortar patch made by Liquid Nails. <clears throat> it worked out really great. Um, I don't know, you're getting the shadow here, but you can see where I caulked in all along on these blocks. And I went ahead and I did the seams in the blocks too. So they were barely, barely visible. So anyway, um, that worked out real nice, real good. So I went ahead and I came over here and I did this section too. And you can see that nice white line of caulk along with my shadow <clears throat> running all the way across those blocks. And let me step around the other side here and get out of the way of the shadowing. But we'll give you a good view of what I got going here. So I laid this caulk in I've done a lot of caulking. Uh, my last house, um, which was about uh, 3,000 square feet, <clears throat> right before I sold it, I repainted the whole thing. And I used about, uh, it had wood siding. I used about 30 tubes of caulk on it. So I'm pretty good when it comes to using the caulk gun. Um, but you can see here how this blended this all in real nice with the house and uh, made everything nice and sealed. And you can see it here again, I sealed the, the joints. And you can see a little bit of a, a gap as that caulk is starting to shrink back, but that's fine because what that's doing is it's working its way down inside the block and kind of absorbing into the block. So, an overall view. Um, that's what you got. Now I still am um, considering strongly about putting a block down in this area in here um, because I know what happens is you get grass and weeds that are going to grow up in here and I'm going to be chewing up this tube like I did here with my string trimmer and that was one of the reasons for putting this in was to kind of just make this area a little more tidy and then to prevent me from having to weed whack up against this black tube here. So I think I'm going to run another couple of blocks coming out to the edge here. Probably the edge of the, the uh, air conditioning unit too. So oh, we're getting my finger in there. <laughs> the edge of the air conditioning unit too. I told you guys I'm not the greatest cameraman around so but uh, for those of you thinking about doing something like this, this is a good idea. It gets um, gets everything kind of nice and tidy back here. Oops, just had a, what they call a love bug land on my glasses here. All right, so that's what we got for today so far. Now, um, be an overall shot along the side here of how that tidied everything up. I'm still trying to come up with a solution for this particular drain here for my air conditioning condensing coil that's in the house. But I haven't located blocks that I like or that I think will work out well. So I still haven't done anything with this. Now last summer I dropped in that drainage um, precast piece there just to get us something going here but I might have to dig that thing out and do something a little bit different there so so that's what we got for now um, here again caulked in looks good looks good over here we'll back out a little bit give you an idea oh one thing I was gonna mention for those of you thinking about doing a lot of caulking get yourself <coughs> a gun that has a smooth shaft, and I'm talking about this section in here. Some of these have like teeth that are serrated in 
to the shaft and as you pull the trigger here you get a tooth per click the problem with that is you get an uneven flow of clock coming out the other end because every time you pull that lever and you hit a click it basically stops pumping caulk so the smooth shaft guns which are pretty readily available I would think your local home improvement store or whatever it may be would have these um, I've had this one a number of years you can see it's pretty cocked up it's pretty bad but I use this on my old house evidence of the 30 tubes of caulk so anyway um, that's something to keep in mind here. These smooth shafts give you a nice even flow of caulk as you pull that trigger. Now you're still going to want to go back in with your finger and smooth that down and then immediately get that caulk off your finger. Um, there's some nasty stuff in there that can get absorbed into the bloodstream through the skin. Um, if you're a smart guy, unlike myself, you probably wear yourself a pair of uh, nitrile, blue nitrile gloves or some kind of protective wear on your fingers and your hands when you're working with this cock. Uh, but uh, I think after 30 tubes I'm probably immune or, or whatever the case may be. But anyway, here again, um, concrete and mortar. This is a gray and it's made by Liquid Nails. Uh, I think I paid about three and a quarter a tube for it. Now I bit, did buy three. Um, typical farm and ranch uh, I guess mindset <clears throat> for those of you thinking about doing something like this when you go to the hardware store I and mean, you buy one or two bolts buy a couple extra stick them in your shed your barn your garage whatever but I'm gonna tell you right now it's gonna save you a lot of time and hassle to run into the hardware store and every time you go just you know buy a couple extra Stick them in an old coffee can, whatever, a tin, a pail, whatever you have around. Those nice drawer sets are, are uh, a big plus too. Um, and just start building yourself up a hardware stock because I'm going to tell you right now that uh, it's much easier to run out to my shed and grab a nail or a screw than jumping in old Big Blue here and taking him into town and uh, wasting probably a good 40 45 minutes just to pick up one lousy screw or, or nail so that's a good tip for y'all to keep that in mind um it's pretty warm out here i'm dripping sweat like crazy as i mentioned the heat, heat is way up and we had some rain over the weekend so we get some pretty high humidity going on right now too so i'm gonna scoot back in the house for a little bit cool off get some get rehydrated and then uh, probably come back out here and start another project or maybe I'll take a run in the town see if I can get that other block that I need for that section we talked about over here so that's it for today for now um, we'll catch you all on the next one uh, thanks for viewing if you uh, are getting some useful information out of these videos if you appreciate it if you hit the like button uh, we've also got the Patreon account that's sitting down in the bottom in the description. If you'd like to become a patron of this project, we're going to keep on moving along here. Um, we got some big ones planned, so stay tuned and thanks for checking back, and we'll catch you on the next one.